This is a follow-on video for the Defender 110 County. Um, this old girl I'm trying to bring back to a reasonable condition. A um, few little rust spots here and there, nothing too drastic for the age of the vehicle. Um, I found, well she has been leaking, um, so I've changed the windscreen seal, which you probably saw on one of my last videos. And I've actually taken up the foam seals that normally go onto the vent flaps. I'm replacing them with the old series uh, rubber seals, which does help to uh, stop them leaking. I found a small rust hole here, which I've dug right out now and ground back a little bit more. I'm going to plate that up in a moment. I've taken the door hinge off here so I could just check to make sure no previous owners had, had filled it. But it's, uh, it's solid metal right the way through. Um, and I'll give you some more videos in a moment. Go, so. The hole's now plated. Um, not the most prettiest of welds, it's quite awkward to do actually because the um, there's like a bit of a sealant around uh, this area here which kept spitting. Um, I thought I've got ground most of it out but uh, it won't do, it's stronger than what was there and hopefully it will stop the leak. Um, let's cover it some red oxide in a second and repaint it. Obviously you're not going to see much of that because it'd be hidden by the bonnet area anyway. Um, okay here we yeah. have the area uh, welded up. A uh, little patch on there, it's not the best patch in the world but um, it'll do for now. Um, giving it a quick coat of the paint. Uh, it's not the best coat, but it's literally just to protect the, the weld at the moment. I will give it a proper rub down and a decent coat of paint later on. Um, next one I'm going to do today is this rear door. As you can see, there's quite a lot of corrosion on here and up through here. Um, I was considering uh, repairing the door, but when I took this door panel off, I was quite shocked to see the extent of the damage. So, I bought myself a brand new door, and there she is and she's been painted the old traditional way of using um, the old gloss roller. Um, I say I can't afford to do a proper respray, but she's looking pretty good for a hand roller. Um, what I'll do is I'll take the door panel off so you can see the extent of the damage. Yeah, the door panel started. removed. As you can see, the structure here is uh, pretty gone. I mean, I, a, possibly I could plate that up, but it was down inside here, it's all corroded. This is all corroded, completely gone. Uh, through here, down this section here completely gone and then you can buy the repair sections to go in here which I'm going to do on the other doors but this was the worst of the lot so I decided to replace the whole the whole door to be honest because it is not the best in the world um, I say I might possibly plate her up and put her on eBay um, it's not a bad old door but I'd rather have a decent door for here a new door just going to get the glazing in, but uh, looking good. So not a bad day's work. Um, door is on. I will do all the other doors as well. I'm going to repair the bottom section on this one, on the inside. But I said this one was so bad, but that's not a bad paint job considering it's done with a roller. And uh, just got to strip the old glass at the old door now. I've got a new weather um, waste seal for the outside and a new inner waste seal to go in. And that does help protect the water from the water from going down inside the door and rot them out. So, well, nice, a good little girl. This will be my next job is to change the, the cap ins. Right, just to re, re go over what we've done, um, replace this door due to excessive corrosion that's that's down in the door. Um, we'll see a door that's 20 years old. It hasn't done too badly. I've ordered new uh, runners and fillets to go in here because obviously these are so bad. I've put the new door on. And it was a good idea to... I've given this loads and loads of coats of paint and I've also red oxidised the aluminium and that it will soak down into the join so it try, doesn't hopefully won't react to the steel with time. Um, so yeah coming together quite nicely now so I've just covered it in some uh, in some compound so I'm going to buff it right back to bring the shine right out but as I say I painted this with a roller I don't know whether it's come up on the film okay but you get a very very good finish um, so it's good in there slow but sure vent seal has dried nicely um, I, I put that in there with some uh, use some tiger seal to actually adhere it to the, the actual frame and that should last a few years and it's good periodically to give this a coat of um, some silicon spray and it helps to keep the rubber supple and I said the weld joint down here 
that's you can barely see the join really um, obviously it's in the, it's in line with the bonnet but just going to rub this back a little bit more I'm ready for the coat of paint um yeah and with these old defenders the common place to go is along here on the bulkhead on the inside and as you can see on this one I and mean, i've had all this off anyway but it's pretty solid i've had to put one little plate in just underneath here and it's literally just where water was settling just behind here from the leak of the vent and i've treated the floor as well with a bit of corrosion i've cut out what was needed and cut out a plate um, but the rest of it's pretty sound okay i've uh, put a new handle on and i didn't realize but the roll pin in here wasn't fitted properly it was half out so that when you put pressure on this the whole thing fell apart so i've got to take it off and put, put the roll pin back through, right the way through now, so when you operate the door handle, it will stay in place. A um, few errors. The, there's a couple of errors where the um, holes have been drilled in the right place on the door. So it's one thing to look out for when you get these doors um, off eBay. Um, just waiting for the new channel, the window channels to come now. And then she'll be, she'll be ready, but look at that.